Hesed Shalom Berkut Wahaba, Maat El Elyon, Banu Haruaka Kodesh, Utabarti Atik Melchisedek, La Shanim Ashir Shabbat Israel, Wahab Sora La Kol Go Imba Yehoshua Hanetsuri. Grace, peace, blessings, and love from the Most High, from His Son, the Holy Spirit, and the ancient order of Melchizedek, to the twelve tribes of Israel, and good news to all nations in Yehoshua the Nazarene. Today's Torah portion will be read by Yekuskiya, who is an Uzer in Bethlehem, Hadar Leon. And the books he will be reading from is Deuteronomy chapter 18 to 21. That's the book of Deborim. Shalom. Deuteronomy chapters 18 to 21. The priests, the Leviim, and all the tribe of Lewi shall have no part nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of Yahuwah made by fire and his inheritance. Therefore shall they have no inheritance among their brethren. Yahuwah is their inheritance, as he hath said unto them. And this shall be the priests due to the people, from them that offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, and they shall give unto the priest the shoulder and the two cheeks, and the mouth. The first fruit also of thy corn, of thy wine, and of thine oil, and the first of the fleece of thy sheep shalt thou give him. For Yahuwah thy Elohim hath chosen him out of all thy tribes, to stand to minister in the name of Yahuwah, him and his sons forever. And if a Leviim come from any of thy gates, out of all Israel, where he sojourned, and come with all the desire of his mind unto the place which Yahuwah shall choose. Then he shall minister in the name of Yahuwah his Elohim, as all his brethren the Leviim do, which stand there before Yahuwah. They shall have like portions to eat, beside that which cometh of the sale of his patrimony. When thou art come into the land which Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahuwah, and because of these abominations, Yahuwah thy Elohim doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with Yahuwah thy Elohim. For these nations which thou shalt possess, hearkened unto observers of times, and unto diviners. But as for thee, Yahuwah thy Elohim hath not suffered thee so to do. Yahuwah thy Elohim will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. According to all that desirest of Yahuwah thy Elohim in Koreb, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of Yahuwah my Elohim, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I die not. And Yahuwah said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will rise them up, a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass, that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other Elohim, even that prophet shall die. And if thou say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which Yahuwah hath not spoken? 
When a prophet speaketh in the name of Yahweh, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which Yahweh hath not spoken, but the prophet hath spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Chapter 19 When Yahweh thy Elohim hath cut off the nations, whose land Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee, and thou succeedest them, and dwellest in their cities, and in their houses, thou shalt separate three cities for thee in the midst of thy land, which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee to possess it. Thou shalt prepare thee a way, and divide the coasts of thy land, which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee to inherit, into three parts, that every slayer may flee thither. And this is the case of the slayer, which shall flee thither, that he may live. Whoso killeth his neighbour ignorantly, whom he hated not in time past. As when a man goeth into the wood with his neighbour to hew wood, and his hand fetcheth a stroke with the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slippeth from the helm, and lighteth upon his neighbour, that he die, he shall flee unto one of those cities and live lest the avenger of the blood pursue the slayer, whilst his heart is hot, and overtake him, because the way is long, and slay him, whereas he was not worthy of death, inasmuch as he hated him not in time past. Wherefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt separate three cities for thee, and if Yahweh thy Elohim enlarge thy coast, as he hath sworn unto the fathers, and give thee all the land which he promised to give unto thy fathers. If thou shalt keep all these commandments to do them, which I command thee this day, to love Yahweh thy Elohim, and to walk ever in his ways, then shalt thou add three cities more for thee, beside these three. That innocent blood be not shed in thy land, which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee for an inheritance, and so blood be upon thee. But if any man hate his neighbour, and lie in wait for him, and rise up against him, and smite him mortally, that he die, and fleeth into one of these cities, then the elders of this city shall send and fetch him thence, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Thine eye shall not pity him, but thou shalt put away the guilt of innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with thee. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbour's landmark, which they of old time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit in the land that Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee to possess it. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity or for any sin, in any sin that he sinneth, at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three witnesses shall the matter be established. If a fool's witness rise up against any man to testify against him that which is wrong, then both the men between whom the controversy is, shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges, which shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition, and behold, if the witness be a false witness, and hath testified falsely against his brother, then shall ye do unto him as he had thought to have done unto his brother so shalt thou put the evil away from among you. And those which remain shall hear and fear, and shall henceforth commit no more any such evil among you. And thine eye shall not pity, but life shall go for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot. Chapter 20 
When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots, and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for Yahuwah thy Elohim is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Mitzrayim. And it shall be, when ye are come nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. And they shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For Yahuwah your Elohim is he that goeth with you, to fight for you against your enemies, to save you. And the officers shall speak unto the people, saying, What man is there that hath built a new house, and hath not dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man dedicate it. And what man is he that hath planted a vineyard, and hath not yet eaten of it? Let him also go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man eat of it. And what man is there that hath betrothed a wife, and hath not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in battle, and another man take her. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's heart faint as well as his heart. And it shall be, when the officers have made an end of speaking unto the people, that they shall make captains of the armies to lead the people. When thou comest nigh unto a city to fight against it, then proclaim shalom unto it. And it shall be, if it make thee answer of shalom, and open unto thee, then it shall be, that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee, and they shall serve thee. And if it will make no shalom with thee, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege it. And when Yahuwah thy Elohim hath delivered it into thine hands, thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. But the women, and the little ones, and the cattle, and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself, and thou shalt eat the spoil of thine enemies, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee. Thus shalt thou do unto all the cities which are very far off from thee, which are not of the cities of these nations, but of the cities of these people, which Yahuwah thy Elohim doth give thee for an inheritance, thou shalt save alive nothing that breatheth. But thou shalt utterly destroy them, namely the Kittim, and the Emorim, and the Canaanim, and the Perizim, and the Kiwim, and the Yebusim, and Yahuwah thy Elohim hath commanded thee, that they teach you not to do after all their abominations, which they have done unto their Elohim, so should ye sin against Yahuwah your Elohim. When thou shalt besiege a city a long time, in making war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing an axe against them, for thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down. For the tree of the field is man's life, to employ them in the siege. Only the trees which thou knowest that they be not trees for meat, thou shalt destroy and cut them down, and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that maketh war with thee until it be subdued. Chapter 21 If one be found slain in the land which Yahuwah thy Elohim giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath slain him. Then thy elders 
and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of that city, shall take an heifer which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer unto a rough valley, which is neither erred nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Lewi, shall come near, for them Yahuwah thy Elohim hath chosen to minister unto him, and to bless in the name of Yahuwah, and by their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tried. And all the elders of that city that are next unto the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Be merciful, O Yahuwah, unto thy people, Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto thy people of Israel's charge, and the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of Yahuwah. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, and Yahuwah thy Elohim hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and hast a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. Then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head, and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. And if it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, and if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be, when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath, for he is the beginning of his strength, the right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father, or the voice of his mother, and that, when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him out unto the elders of his city, and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious, he will not obey our voice, he is gl a glutton and a drunkard. And all of the men of the city shall stone him with stones, that he die, so shalt thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of Elohim, 
that thy land be not defiled, which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee for an inheritance.